Hey everyone, TechnoMentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix apps not downloading on your iPhone. So you're going to follow these steps. So let's get started. Very first thing, you're going to make sure that you're connected to the internet through Wi-Fi or cellular data. So first thing we're going to do is pull down the control menu, put our phone on airplane mode, and then turn that off. And it does a quick network refresh. And you want to test out your internet connection by going to maybe a browser and just see if you can get to a website and make sure it's loading correctly. If you're not getting internet connection, that's going to be the very first thing because in order to download any apps, you need internet connection. Now, after you verify you have internet connection, the next thing to do is go into your settings here and you want to make sure under screen time, you're going to, if you have content and privacy restriction, you want to completely turn this off. Some of this can interfere with downloading apps. Now, if you can't turn this off or don't want to turn it off because you have other things, you just want to make sure here that where it says allowed apps and feature, we're going to tap on that. We're going to make sure all of this is turned on. Now, along with that here, iTunes and App Store purchases, where it says installing apps, we want to make sure it says allowed. If you said don't allow, you'll not be able to download and install apps. So you want to make sure these are allowed as a feature. Now, if you have that, the next thing you're going to do is starting from the main settings here, we're going to go all the way down here where it says app. And we're going to tap on App Store. And then down here under Cellular Data App Downloads, you want to make sure that it says Always Allow. Because if it's over 200 gigs, for example, you might not, megabyte, you might not be able to download apps. So you want to say Always Allow so there's no restriction whenever you're downloading apps as well. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing you want to do is go to the App Store itself. Now, in the App Store here, you're going to make sure that you're signed into your Apple account right here. Sometimes it gets signed out and you can't download apps. So you're going to make sure you're signed in. And then more importantly, you want to make sure your account is in good standing. So you're going to tap on your account right here, right? And then go ahead and enter your password. Once you enter your password, you're going to click on sign in here. And right here when you're signed in, the one thing we want to verify is that under our manage payment here, that if you had a card on file, it didn't expire, or if you need to update your payment, because if you have a subscription and the card expired recently and it can't complete that transaction, it will prevent you from downloading even free apps. So under Manage Payment, you want to tap on And under Manage Payment, if you have a new card, you can go ahead and put it here. You can also use PayPal. Most apps are free to download, but there are scenarios where if you have a card on file, it's going to make sure it's easy to download, although you can select none as option. In our case scenario, you want to make sure card is available on file. And once you verify you have card is on file, you're good to go, you should be able to download again. Now, if you're still having issues downloading, the next thing you want to do is go into your settings, tap on your Apple ID account here, go all the way down here. You're going to go ahead and sign out and then sign back in just to make sure your account is in good standing. If there is any issues, it will. I'll let you know. So sign out and then sign back in. Now, if you did that and it's still not working, the next thing to do is just simply restarting your phone. Now, you could do it in a few different ways. You can say Siri to restart it, or you can pull down the top menu and then click on that power icon right here on the latest size version or slide to power off, or you can hold the volume up and the side button at the same time, just like that, and just simply slide to power off. So, and then you're going to power back on, and that will fix most software related issue. Now, let's say you're still having the issue. The next thing you want to make sure that you have storage on your phone. So, in your settings here, this time for the main settings here, we're going to go to general and then click on iPhone storage. And then you're going to make sure you have enough storage available. As you can see, I'm using 34 gig out of 128 gig. Let's say you're maxed out, you won't be able to download an app. So, you need to delete some old one or if you have photos and videos that take up space, you can also delete those as well. Now, once you verify you have storage, the next thing to do if it's still not working is to update the phone software. So in your settings, general software update, just to make sure you have the latest update. If there is an update that a previous update might have caused issues with software downloading, you want to go ahead and update it. And lastly, if none of this is working, you're going to go into your settings, click on general, and then go down here to transfer reset iPhone, click on reset. We're going to reset all settings right here. This will just reset the settings themselves. It will not delete any of your data. 
it will not erase photos, videos, apps, anything like that. Just basically making sure there, there isn't a setting that's preventing you from downloading apps. So that's all you need to do in order to fix it. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.